This video was made possible in part by these fine people. Hey techies, Anthony from Hashinet here, and today we have another Amazon Vine product. And um, if you saw, I did a review of a similar uh, quote-unquote knockoff in another video. And so this, you cannot tell by looking at the box, is a thing. And um, so before we get too far, we do need to open it. So I'm going to use a pair of scissors here. Uh, kids, ask your parents permission before doing anything with sharp objects. And let's see if we can get this open. Now on the front it does say uh, Deno, so wireless controller, phone jack, medical function, new. So um, I'm going to tell you right now, just like with the PlayStation controller I reviewed, I suspect it will be uh, one of those more drop shippy things. Well, I mean, it doesn't even come into a labeled box. So first off, we see a USB-C cord. And I'll be honest, it looks like it's maybe a foot long. Yeah, a little over a foot. So that it is looks like an xbox one controller so that's that's a plus for it and then it comes with uh, some instructions about syncing it and what have you a uh, phone computer xbox so um we're going to test this out on my computer on my android phone and on my xbox series s and see if it works and um unpackage the controller i got some weight to it so I'm thinking there might be vibration in this. I haven't read, obviously, anything. Uh, so pro programmable buttons on the back here. A nice-ish. So like a scratch in there. Or dirt. Yeah, it's dirt. Gross. Anyway, uh, this is a hefty controller. Uh, look at the back here. Uh, very familiar looking back. I mean, it is very... Very much mimics an Xbox controller. Um, I'm, oh, I, I see. This is the home button. This is the share button to start and the menu button. Sticks are nice and tight. I don't know what I... I don't know how to think about this, um, this pad. I mean, the buttons are super clicky. Uh, so I don't hate that. Sticks click. Back buttons are where they need to be. Yeah, so uh, we'll, we'll uh, tr uh, put some batteries in here and uh, give it a try. So one thing I wanted to do before we got too far was to compare the controller with an official Xbox controller. And you can see there's already a profile difference. This is a little lower. Um, this is a little bit higher as far as the way it sets angled on the grips. Uh, of course, um, headphone jack, but then this has the complete Xbox uh, connection bit. And uh, here's the underside, of course. This has the programmable buttons on it. Here's the button you use to sync, or program, I should say. The sync button's over here. Sync button over here. USB-C, of course, Xbox branding. The buttons. Here's the front of the controller. So you, you can see the differences. They tried to make it just enough different where, you know, Microsoft can't sue them into oblivion. But, um... The sticks feel the same, except they have, I don't know how well you can see, there's like a pattern inside the sticks. Uh, also, um, an appropriate pad compared to whatever this is. But the clicking is pretty much... Because these are newer buttons, these feel a lot clickier than these. Yeah, definitely a lot clickier because they're newer. This Series X is, what, two years old at this point? So, um, those are the real differences between the controllers, and, uh, now on to the testing. So, for our Android test, we're going to use my phone here, and, uh, it says that I have to hold down this button to turn on the controller, which is the home button, and you probably can't tell because of the light, but this is actually strobing because I held it down earlier. And then it says to hold down the pairing button for a second, and it should start pairing. Now, if the instructions are correct, and I did test this, uh, I should see an Xbox wireless controller. Here it is. Pair. Okay. So, it is in there. So let's see if it does anything. Oh, okay, we got movement. Okay, that's cool. You can see all the apps I have. 
Uh, this is my work phone, so there's nothing fun on here. There's no games to try um, because I just can't have games. Uh, let's see. Calculator? Is that a game? <laughs> okay, so it looks like it's working. So it basically has the same functionality as the, um, the PlayStation controller did. And uh, I know it's really faint what you can see here, if you can see anything. Because uh, you can see the fours lit up, then the two, and then the three. So it tells me that it works somewhat. And if I hit the home button, nothing. Hit the... Okay, so that gives me the settings there. Okay, cool. What about if I hit the start button? Oh, six. Okay, well, I'm not going to finish that. And then if I hit this, nothing. Okay, so this moves me up here. That takes me out, puts me back in, and that erases. Okay, so um, top button doesn't do anything. It's a calculator, obviously. So we know it does, in fact, sync up with an Android phone. So yay, I guess. Okay, so we've changed uh, position, so this is near the computer. I, of course, turned the controller on, and it's the blinking here. And as you've seen the top left corner, there's a Bluetooth screen. And if I hold the top here, I will be able to start syncing. As you see, the pace of the blue has changed a little bit. And if we go, we can go add, find Bluetooth, and then right there at the top, the device name. So there we go, Bluetooth controller done. And what we're going to do next is try to play a game with it. And as you see, the light is stayed a static on. It is very dim, so without uh, low lighting, kind of like what I have here, uh, really difficult to see otherwise. So we are going to try to play a game with it. Okay, so I've loaded up Sonic Mania, and we're going to see if it works. So hit the start button here. But I'm going to use this pad here primarily. But let this just real quickly make sure this works. That does. You, you can duck, move forward, move back, look up. Okay. Reaction time is pretty good. Hello. Okay, yeah. Anything here? No. Okay, what about that? Jump. Nothing. Okay, I'll... So. Let's see. Okay, does the back buttons do anything? No? Okay. Okay, so the instructions say this is the set button, so I guess hold it down and then uh, we'll, we'll count that as a second. We'll press X and then uh, we'll press the, I guess this button here. And this button. Oh! There we go. That was easy. So let's try that again. Uh, hold down set. Oh, it vibrated. Okay, that might be the signal then. A, and then, oh, and it vibrated again. Ah, so that was what I'm missing. Okay, so um, essentially, and there are vibrator motors in here. They're actually pretty good. Awesome. And um, so there is also a turbo function, and we're going to check that one out. So I'd like to point out that the instructions are in kind of a bad English and they keep calling this a handle uh, but it says turbo function is this button right here so it says hold this button. let's say X for example and then if we hold this down now there we go turbo so here is the Xbox I have uh, of course the Xbox controller plugged in here ready to go uh, with my little uh, <laughs> My uh, great ball uh, thumbstick here. Also a review I did before. You can go look that up if you want to check out some thumbsticks. They look like Pokemon balls. Anyway, uh, we're going to um, test the game out after we sync up that controller. But first, let's sync that controller up. Uh, accessories. We're going to grab this controller here. We're going to push the button to turn it on. And we get the blinky. And then we'll hold down this button. And the blinky got faster. Uh, not sure what to do at this point. Uh, oh, you know what? I bet you if I plug in the USB, it'll sync. Oh, there we go. Okay, so let's just get into it. So hit that button to start. And we'll just pick a random one. We're just going to go in. Okay, so... So far, so good. Let's see. So, 
And it seems to remember program buttons. So let's try something. Let's, uh, I'm gonna hold down set. Vibrate, okay, hold down X. And then vibrate after holding down the button there. Oh, X doesn't do anything, well that makes sense. So let's try this again. We'll change, we'll change it to A, or no, we'll change it to B. Set, vibrate, B, and vibrate after hitting the stick. There we go. Now both back buttons are programmed. Anything on the top? Well, this game doesn't have that. So, I mean, so far it's so good. Okay, so let's see what other functionality. Okay, that works. What about this? No, nope, doesn't look like it does. Takes me back to menu, okay. So, uh, the turbo button. Will it let me turbo? Let's find out. Oh, actually, hold on. There we go, turboing. Okay, well, that. <laughs> Let's see if we can unturbo it. There we go, unturboed. Okay, cool beans. So, as we can tell, it's all working. And based on this, uh, obviously, this controller uh, is decent and probably well worth the price of as long as its longevity lasts. With that said, tell me in the comments your thoughts on this item. Did you get it, and how was your experience with it? Thanks for watching, and please remember to like and subscribe.